What's up, everybody? Uh, it's been a minute since I've been on here. I took a break. I needed a break. I needed a mental break. Uh, I also had to travel for work, so it kind of worked out. So I was out of town, and I took a nice, long mental break. So now I'm back. I'm start making videos for you. You guys have seen the Ducati. I don't think I've showed you this in the Ducati. So I went with the full tinted uh, Enduro screens. This is exactly the exact same screen that is on the Pikes Peak version, unless you get the carbon fiber one. Um, in the up position, it works. It's totally functional. It's just tinted uh, instead of the clear one. And I like it a lot better. Top box, what do we have here? We have a DSC controller. I ordered this thing uh, about two and a half months ago. And due to supply chain issues and the chip shortage, it took that long to get here. Um, but we get a nice little license plate holder with it. Let's put it out of the way. We get some stickers. DSE Sport Active Suspension. Now this is for uh, your cars with uh, mag ride with active suspension. My uh, Porsche 911 has got PASM, Porsche Active Suspension Management, I believe is what it stands for. And it is the mag ride. Uh, this little box is in this bigger box. So we'll get this bigger box out of the way. All right, let's see what's in the little box. And ta -da. So this is pretty cool. It has uh, for installation, I opened this box earlier so I know. Uh, for installation, you just scan this one and it tells you exactly where it is on your specific car and how to install it. And this one is an alignment recommendation if you, to get alignment done. Uh, the reason they include this is because a lot of times people are installing this when they're changing their uh, shocks. I already have my alignment and I already looked at the specifications and my car is actually aligned exactly how they uh, recommend. So we're good to go. Uh, so this is what you get in the box. You get a DSC controller. This is super light. What I think is comical about this is, this is hollow. This, uh, the only reason the box is this size, probably more than likely is because of the connector because uh, maybe you can see inside, I don't know. I looked in there earlier, you see the box is hollow. It's just one circuit card across the bottom of the box. 997.2, that's, that's the model of 911 that I have. Uh, but the connector is pretty big, so that's there. You also get a USB cable uh, if you want to program this. Uh, and you'd plug it in here and plug it into your laptop. I do not want to program this. I ordered this with the plug and play version. So there is no programming. This should be a 30 second install once I get to once I get to the parts. So for now we're gonna leave this here and then we're gonna go. Uh, oops. I meant to do that. Uh, we're gonna leave that here and then we're gonna go to the car and do that first. Uh, or find where it is on the car. We're gonna have to get it outside because that that wall is too close to the door for me to squeeze my uh, dad bod in between the, the wall and the door not scrape the wall. So we'll get the car outside So cold start who loves cold start everybody loves cold starts All right, so according to the install instruction of the DSC controller, the DSC controller on this model car is in the passenger footwell. Uh, and it is supposedly right here. So let's see, I'm gonna put my hand back here, see if I can reach it, if I can find anything. Oh, yep, there's a box right there. There sure is. Wonder if I can, uh, oh, there's an unlock. It says, reach in there and you'll feel an unlock clip. Feel something can't see it but I can feel it all right I got it mostly out so it's right here let's see if I can get it out the rest of the way oh, come on baby don't break anything and voila there you go that is PASM controller on a Porsche 911 997.2 it's only held on with a clip 
on the bottom of this. So you put this in there and the clip grabs it like that. You just gotta bend the clip out of the way and pull this out. Uh, so now we would just swap it. All right, here's the new one. Now it makes sense why they made the box this size. So it can be a one for one. So when it, you know, put it in place, it uses the same tabs. Gotcha. All right, that's all. Let's see, there. Piece of cake. Pins look good. Bam. All right, that's it, installed. Hold one out and then one on, 30 seconds. <laughs> um, I was careful pulling on this because I can feel like this this part of it is glued. Uh, and all this back wall down here feels like it's glued too. So I only pulled it just enough to get this box out. So we're gonna put that back in there and we're gonna go for a drive. All right, uh, real quick tip. So I was focused on the bottom. You see there's a, i the finger out of the way, sorry about that. See that bottom tab? It has an upper tab as well. So you really gotta get that upper tab in. Let me zoom in, let me, all right. It's got a locator hole and a tab. So get the upper one first and then the bottom one. So the way I was able to do it was uh, laid on my back kind of on the, put the passenger seat on the lowest side and laid on my back. Use my left hand to reach up in there. You can't see it, but you can feel it. And once it locks in place, the top one, the bottom one's tough to get in. And you know you got it right. If the bottom one just goes right in, it's going to rattle. It's going to be sloppy when you're driving. So lock the top one in first, then do the bottom one. Now we can go driving. All right, so no faults. That's a good start. So now let's go for a drive. So why did I buy the DSC controller? Um, it's got a lot more capabilities than I'm ever gonna use. I like to use my car as a grand tour. Uh, I never take it to the track. I like to drive at stupid speeds on public roads. I know, it's not safe, shouldn't do it. Don't do it, follow the rules. But this is about me, not you. <laughs> so. I bought it because basically it will make your plush setting plusher and make your sport setting more sporty, if that makes any sense at all. Okay, the way, I, I try to keep this real simple and non-technical. The way the DSC controller is, uh, from factory, your PASM controller that's, that comes in your, with your car, um, it controls your shocks by sensing the road. Uh, as far as I know, that's the only way it does it. The way the DSC controller is, it uses those inputs, but it also taps into the sensors for your steering angle, your your accelerator, because these cars are drive-by wire, uh, your brakes, your accelerometer in your car. If you have a 997.1 or older, you need to buy the accelerometer from DSC. Uh, if you have a 997.2 and newer, you don't. It's already, your car already comes with it built in. Uh, so it uses more sensors basically and adjusts the shocks based on that. And uh, yeah, just leaving the neighborhood. I'm right in front of the main road here. Just leaving the neighborhood, definitely more plush without a doubt. But we'll find out for sure when we hit downtown. All right, so I can tell you, I'm on the freeway now, so sorry for all the noise. It is definitely more plush. Uh, we're only going 30 miles an hour because there's traffic. There's definitely more plush. We're going to put it in sport mode here in a second and see how it is in sport mode. Alright, I don't know how to explain sport mode it is the car is very stable it's very planted like that section i just did right now that you just saw in the video um i've i know where the bumps are and i purposely ran over it and somehow it was more compliant but yet stable and tight with zero body roll whatsoever to the turn 
I have to do more testing. I, I really don't have a good description of sport mode. Uh, but we're gonna put it back in normal mode here we're in downtown. I'm still in sport mode. I'm gonna put it in normal mode and drive around. All right, so the car is parked. Uh, we're going here to the Apple Store. And uh, definitely, definitely more compliant. In normal mode, rides like a grand touring car now. Which that's exactly what I was looking for. I am gonna have to raise the suspension back up. I was planning on doing that anyways because I've been scraping the front a lot. Uh, nothing major, just the plastic underneath. And that's all replaceable if I really want to. But you can't see it, so who cares? Uh, but I was gonna raise it up for that. And also I'm getting a little, uh, when I go full, full turn or full lock on the wheel steering wheel, you get a little bit of binding with those uh, coils because they compress so much more than the OEM coils. Uh, but I'm going to do all the OEM springs back on and replace the rear shocks and rear upper strut mounts. So the entire car will have completely new suspension front and back. If you guys remember a couple weeks ago, a couple months ago actually, the front shock, one of them failed. So on the warranty, they replaced one and under my money, my pocket, we replaced the other one. So we're going to go to the Apple store here and uh, get the computer fixed. All right, so we're leaving the Apple store. They did a reset and they said my computer's working. I forgot to bring my flash drive, so we'll check when we get home. That has nothing to do with my car, but I just wanted to share what the hell I'm doing right now in downtown. All right, this is a good test. City driving, construction, hitting every damn bump in the road. So the sun went away, so so did my sunglasses. So. I will say that the uh, the suspension is definitely much more active with the DSM controller. Uh, we are heading out of downtown. I'm gonna go up this really windy road up the mountain in front of us, and so we can put it back in sport mode and test that. And look, 19th Street. My Audi's getting fixed one block to that way. I should say the Audi is waiting on parts. It's not getting fixed. Just standing by, waiting on parts. All right, so what's the verdict? Well, I did a little city, a little twisty mountain roads, which is what I'm on right now, with patches tight turns. Mm. I love that. Love that. <laughs> and never get tired of that. And uh, yeah, it's definitely better. It's definitely, uh, the DSC controller definitely does what they advertise it does. It brings your suspension into the modern era. It feels like I'm driving a new car, suspension-wise. Uh, yeah, it's, I'm surprised, very, very surprised, very shocked how well it does everything it does and it's almost it's subtle but you can almost notice that as you turn the wheel like 45 degrees or so you step on the gas you step on the brake the suspension is working more than it ever did before uh, here's a dip and a bump handling it like a champ very very comfortable compliant has that touring car feel love it love it good job DSC so I just went over a manhole cover and I think I figured out how to explain it. So in normal mode with the DSC controller, it's very compliant, very touring car feel, very GT feel. Uh, in sport mode, you, same, you still get all your stiffness that you would normally, that you would expect to get so you can be flat in a turn and so you can really get on it, but there's no harshness. Uh, as soon as I ran over the manhole cover, I, I noticed it immediately. You know, your wheel dips and then the body follows but I didn't have that harshness at all. Uh, and, and still had the stiffness, but it was compliant because the harshness is gone. So I am very, very, very happy with uh, this DSC controller. <laughs> the, uh, only, the only thing I didn't like was two and a half month wait on uh, because it was back ordered and due to supply chain issues. But yeah, I mean, that's the world we live in today.